How are we doing, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggly With It. I'm Will, and today we're opening up, or well, I guess we're going over and demonstrating uh, a small little game called Zaberia's, uh, which was going to go to crowdfunding, but instead the uh, designer decided to go straight to retail. So, of course, I have a link down below uh, where you can pick this up. Uh, it is a small uh, battler game. Uh, basically, they're, they're touting it towards kids, uh, ages two to four players, six and up. Uh, and they're saying it's good for uh, teaching kids counting and reading skills. With that said, go ahead and flip over the camera, give an idea of some of the components and some of the gameplay uh, mechanisms. Uh, that way you can see if this is a game for you. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is the game. So the game comes with uh, four different punch boards. Uh, so you have the orcs, the humans, the guardians, and the undead. Um, so each one of them is pretty much the same. Uh, you have your game board that's going to be able to be popped out of here. Uh, so it's an easy way to store all the game components. Uh, there are little notches here because you can be able to build your buildings and your castles and your different uh, upgrades. Uh, as you can see over here on the track, which cost a different amount of coins that you'll earn throughout the game. Uh, you got different areas where you can get power-ups and you can collect money uh, and so forth. Uh, if you want a full rundown, Genders did do a full how-to play of this game uh, if you want a better idea of that. But here is the game board for the Orcs. Uh, good, nice, cute art. Um, nothing wrong with that. Uh, you do get a set of dice for each one of them. Uh, so in here, it shows one, two, three. So even inside of the little uh, thing, it's going to give you an idea or at least let you know what needs to be put back inside of the uh, dice. I was going to say it, it shows you, but it doesn't. That's because there was a hole and I'll see what was underneath. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you got little there. Uh, they just plug right back in. Uh, really good. Uh, easy setup. Easy teardown. Uh, again, it's made for kids. It's not, it's not, you don't want it to be too difficult. Otherwise, your kids aren't going to pull it out. Uh, and then you have your different uh, creatures here that you can uh, summon so they have different strength different movement abilities this is your level one so these are the characters you can get if you have a level one is your level two and then of course your level three you really get to upgrade into you know a dragon blimp and some big rhino thing uh, with an oracle on top uh, now i've not popped these yet so they may be a little bit yes yeah, so they do take a little bit of effort to pop out the first time on the back here you can see it says uh, headhunter he gets two coins for every unit he defeats so they some of the uh characters are going to have special abilities and that was probably not a good idea to put that in there backwards because <laughs> he did not want to come back out uh, but that goes in there and then these are your coins uh, that you'll be able to unlock uh throughout the game all right so that is your uh orcs there all right uh, one thing I did note, notice on mine, I've left them in the box that they originally uh, came in. Uh, and they are, I'm in Florida now, so lots of humidity. Uh, so they did start to curl a little bit. Um, I don't know if this is a prototype or if this is the final version. Uh, so when you are storing them, I would probably recommend storing them every other direction. Because the way I was storing them was all like this which of course is making them all warp that way. So that's on me, not on you, because I think when they did come in the package, they were actually every other direction. Uh, so that is the orcs. Uh, and then here are the humans. So same thing, they have their little uh, world uh, that they come in. It uh, looks like, I don't know, a mermaid or if it's just a dolphin or a whale in their, in their little sea back there. Uh, but the art is different for each one of the factions, kind of fits in with their theme. This is kind of more of a wintry theme. It's got two little snowmen there uh, same thing though the art is really cute really uh fun for kids uh something bright and vibrant to get them interested in playing the game and counting the reason they say basically the counting is because you have to add up your strength of all of your troops with your dice rolls to be able to defeat the other troop so if the other troop is for example a five and you're a one then you know that you need to do math to be able to figure out the difference. And that is what the developer or the designer created this for over the course of 15 years. It says here 15 years in the making. Uh, and that is, he was trying to teach math to his kids, right? Uh, and then these are the guardians here. Uh, build cities and train mighty heroes. Okay, so the bottom says the same for all of them. And then here is their world. Uh, so same thing, got some little monsters in there, uh, more tentacly based monsters, which I don't know if that particularly fits 
the guardians which would be more like an elf uh type uh tribe i guess uh, but of course you got your little flowers because they're guardians of the earth i guess and then all of their heroes kind of fit that motif as well i see a little tree man like an int a uh, little dragon guy two-headed dragon guy and then all your elves and although that's not really an elf that's more of like a frog man there and that's a turtle man or an elf riding a turtle <laughs> So art's really cute, uh, and that's what the publisher reached out to us and we were like, you know, would we cover the game? We were going to do a gameplay for the campaign, but of course there's no campaign. We may do gameplay in the future. Uh, so this one here is the undead. So, you know, of course, all kids like to play with some kind of undead evil faction, right? So <laughs> here's the undead faction. Just pretty much red. All of them are to their colors. Uh, now, of course, I mentioned about like building the castles. No zone is particularly that character zone. It's just where you start. Um, so anybody can actually build in anybody else's. Again, if you head out to Gender's Gaming, maybe I'll remember to put a link down below. Uh, he goes over a good how to play uh, for the game. But there you go. There's are your undead. You got some little vampire there. Uh, so that is that. All right, there we go, guys. That is Zabarius. Zabarius. I'm not sure how you say it. Uh, but uh, sounds right. Uh, if you want to check out this game, there will be a link down below where you can go make a purchase. Uh, we will probably be doing this as one of our Extra Life Charity giveaways. Uh, so if you have kids and you think this would be something they would like, because para los niños, uh, of course, make sure you subscribe to know when we go and offer this as a giveaway for charity. Until then, guys. Peace.